Hi, my, <laughs> this is my second project for today that I want to show you. Uh, it's kind of sad because my um, one of my uh, uh, best colleagues I'm going to stop working with us. I'm going to move to another place and work there. Well, not move, but she's going to work on another place. Uh, and I really like this person, uh, she has taught me a lot about life, about children and she's been um, there for me when I was uh, sick. So I wanted to ma make her uh, a beautiful gift that I think is gonna... Um, well, I can't explain it in English but... So I made this one, it's a matchbox. They're decorated with um, molding paste and uh, resin pieces, the wings and the frame and the owl. She is um, a very smart, smart person and I um, think she's my owl. So that's why I wanted to make this one like that for her. And as you see, it's um, destroyed here because I uh, pushed too hard when I was gonna paint it, but I thought it was okay anyway. It was hard to glue it uh, back, but it looks uh, vintage and uh, yeah. And here's the box. And this person loves to have long necklaces. She always has. Um, um, she's a very long person, so she's beautiful in long necklaces. So I made her a really long necklace with an owl. Probably you have seen this before, but, uh, and I love to do them. They are. I think they're really, really beautiful. It's. Uh, I made the resin owl, and I painted it with the um, acrylic inks and rubbing buff. I put the Tim Holtz gear, and it's also resin gear that I made from Tim Holtz uh, metal pieces. And I put a little brad that looks like a screw. Mm. And I made the resin eye. As you can see. It's a steampunk owl. And I drill a hole and put the little piece there. And I love it. As you can see, it's very long. And I didn't make any um, lock on it because I thought it was uh, easier just to put around the neck. I do like this. Well, so that's that piece. That's the really <laughs> that's my gift. <laughs> the box and all that stuff is just extra. <laughs> And I used the Magnolia dye that I bought from a friend and I think I have to buy it soon because I love it and it's perfect to do the uh, little minis for the matchbook matchbox minis. And I really like the dye because I really don't I usually don't like the Magnolia because they're so cute, but I like this because it's more vintage, grungy feeling and I can use it on my projects. I'm not that cute. And I put some uh, resin uh, charms that I made. An owl, of course. I think that one is so cute. And that's a mold that I bought. And here's the mold that I made myself. It's a butterfly. Kind of cute. Well, not cute, maybe. Beautiful. And I love this um, seahorse. And I put too much uh, rub and buff on it, but I have to survive with that. I think it's nice. And the front page I made with the, the metal tape, like always. I love the metal tape, it's so uh, usable. Use, usable. And I've uh, dyed cut with the magnolia dye, also uh, the honeycomb comb piece. And I uh, glued it on top, and then I put the metal tape afterwards on top of it. I think it's nice. I don't know if we're gonna have some more on this front page, but I, I like the simpleness of it. 
And here I just, um, it's a black piece and I only took the rub and buff so it would look more distressed. Yeah, I'm not gonna read all of it, but I'm, I put maybe like a le <laughs> I wrote like a letter for her on all the pieces. Uh, all of the, pe the pieces are made with the uh, different magnolia dyes that I borrowed uh, from my friend. Uh, the little tabs and the... Oh, maybe it's a tab or a tag, I don't really know, but... All the pieces are from that, and I used the stamps from um, Chocolate Baroque, and it's beautiful stamps. Well, I wrote all the letter on all piece, on all the pieces. So it's a long story, like that, and it's the end. That's not my name. Well, that's that piece. And I like it. I hope she's gonna like it. I'm gonna put maybe some uh, silk paper on, on, on here so it looks more beautiful. Now it's just it's a too big of a box for the little things. But I really hope she's gonna be happy with it and I hope she's gonna remember me <laughs> when she goes to other jobs. Wild job. Well, that's for me today. I hope you like this piece and I just ask if you have any questions. Um, I have a lot of computer problems at here at home, um, so it's hard for me to show all my projects right now. Um, but that's it. Have a nice day, and I hope you keep on watching me. Bye.